For the benefit of the younger or trolleybus generation who have not been fortunate enough to hear this stimulating noise, let's immediately put them in the picture. It is, of course, the clatter of an old-fashioned tram, an ear-splitting form of transport which is gradually being replaced by more silent types of tram or is disappearing altogether, much to the relief of practically everyone. Practically everyone, except for enthusiasts like Mr. Jackson Stevens and his 15-year-old son Nigel of Glastonbury, Somerset, whose hobby is making and operating these perfect scale models of various trams, although the noise problem associated with the real thing has been eliminated. These ingenious models can be manoeuvred in exactly the same way as ordinary trams and are operated from the control point by the once familiar brass handles taken from an actual vehicle. The main engineering difficulty which faced Mr. Stevens when he decided to build the tramway was that the garden sloped steeply away from the house. Therefore, part of the track had to be elevated and at one point it travels through the trees. All we need now is to have a miniature Tarzan swing down and take a tupney to Tooting Broadway. For the more technically minded, the tracks are made of brass resting on seasoned oak sleepers previously pickled in creosote and bitumen. All the metal work in the models is done by Mr. Stevens and Nigel is responsible for pinting and fitting the interiors. Hello, something's gone wrong, but there are no cries of all change here. Mr. Evans makes a preliminary examination before signalling Nigel to send the depot car, a combined stores and gentility vehicle that can be used in all weathers. It's even fitted with a most efficient snow plough. An expert flick of the control handle sends the depot car off to collect the broken down model. This is more than just a hobby, it represents hundreds of hours of intricate work. The originals of the more old-fashioned trams may have long since vanished, but thanks to the skill and ingenuity of two enthusiasts, they are still with us, in miniature anyhow. <laughs>